Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. First of all, first of all, for those people who have been waiting with bated breath, yes, old friends to the end, my book about my lands and to John O'Groats cycle ride is now available on Amazon. Yes, you can order it in paperback, you can order it for your Kindle, and you can even order it in hardback. So I hope you'll do so. Uh, everything that you've seen in these videos that you've been forced to sit through, we well, haven't been forced to sit through, um, that you have been forced to sit through, you can now read all about it in deathless, deathless prose. And I hope you'll enjoy it. And if you do buy books from uh, Amazon, I know uh, a lot of people aren't very keen on buying books from Amazon, but it's the only way that somebody like me can get published, then please, please, please uh, leave a review of the book. I don't mind if it's a bad review, by the way. Can I say this? Because a lot of people, you look at reviews on Amazon, they're all good reviews, and you get really suspicious. So you need to see some bad reviews. And I think the fake reviewers on Amazon, oh, who says there are fake reviewers on Amazon? I think there are fake reviewers on Amazon who give bad reviews intentionally to give some balance because it makes it more believable. So it's kind of like a double bluff. Anyway, moving on, moving on. We're getting to the end of the Le Jog Lessons videos. And this particular one, which I probably should have done a little bit earlier, actually, is about the Wahoo, and this is the Rome, and the uh, Bolt, and this is the Bolt. Uh, if you are a follower of my channel, and why are you not a follower of my channel, you would have seen probably one of my earliest reviews was about the Wahoo element, the first Wahoo element that came out. And then I did another uh, unboxing and a review when I bought this one, which is the Rome. I didn't do an unboxing and a review of the latest element, Bolt, uh, because I thought I'd done it to death. But I've decided that I need to do some more stuff to death. So I'm going to do a little thing about the two of them because I took both of them on my Le Jog trip. You know, why did you take two bike computers, Julian? Well, all will be revealed. Why did I buy the Bolt? Well, hmm, the reason I bought the Bolt was because I was doing Le Jog and I was terrified, yes, terrified, that I would have a problem with my Rome, which is this one and therefore I would not be able to record my ride and therefore it would not go on Strava and therefore I would not get all the hundreds of kudos to which I am rightfully entitled and by the way thanks to everybody who did give me kudos and that's why I bought a spare so a little bit belt and braces it was pretty unnecessary but in the end it did actually turn out to be necessary. So what happened? Well, on the second day, which you may actually have seen in my video, which was the day from Tavistock to Wookie Hole, I was about five miles away from Wookie Hole. In other words, I'd done about, I don't know, 9,500 miles, something like that. And this element, element, Rome, died on me. Now, I think it ran out of battery. Why did it run out of battery? I don't know. I've done long rides with the Rome before. This particular ride was about seven hours, so it was nothing particularly unusual. And yet, and yet, and yet, it ran out of battery. And it took me a long time to get it set up again and going again and recover the ride and so on and so forth. It was very stressful. I've got to say, Wahoo people, it's very stressful. So you ought to consider this kind of thing. So uh, I then recorded the last five miles of that particular ride on my phone. And then the next day switched to using the Bolt. Use the Bolt for the rest of the trip with no... Uh, problem. So make of that what you will. So a little black mark against the uh, Wahoo element, Rome, and not happened before, but it happened on an important ride, and I nearly, nearly came a cropper, but in the end didn't. So what is the difference between these two? Well, if you want to know the real difference, you need to watch, you know, DC Rainmaker or one of those people who actually knows what they're talking about, as opposed to Julian, who just kind of makes it up as he goes along. But the thing about these two, and I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if it comes across on the video, but one thing that should come across on the video is that this one in my right hand, with the, which is the Rome, is bigger than this one in my left hand, which is the Bolt. 
Why is that significant? Well, well, boys and girls, if you are of a certain age, and I am, as you know, 65, and your eyesight is fading, as are your wits and your uh, mind and various brain cells and your hearing and, and your coordination and your bladder. Oh, <laughs> who said bladder? Um, then you may struggle, as I do, to be honest, uh, to read the data fields on the bolt. Now, somebody's bound to leave a comment saying, oh, yes, but you can make the data fields bigger. Yes, you can. You can make the data screens bigger, but then you will have fewer bits of data on the screen. And if you like to look at lots of data at once, I'm going to find that difficult. The Rome being that little bit bigger, all right, you can see a bit more data makes things a little bit easier. So on that basis, if you're older, your eyesight is not so good, I would go for the Rome. If you are a young whippersnapper or a racing snake, or you've just got decent eyesight, then the bolt, I think the form factor, as they say, in other words, the design of the bolt and the new bolt, uh, I think is nicer than the Rome. The other thing you may just be able to notice is that the buttons on the Rome here, right, are recessed, whereas the buttons on the new bolt are slightly proud they are not recessed and therefore they are slightly easier to press i mean it's fairly minor but they are slightly easier to press so they are both excellent units i used to use garmin's and if you dig out my original wahoo um element uh, unboxing and review you will learn the whole story of why i switched from garmin's to wahoo's garmin's may well have upped their game and i think they have and battery life which was a particular problem on the garmin notwithstanding what i said about the rome uh, i believe has improved but 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 people still have their problems with garmin's although having said that of course people do have their problems with their wahoos i have not used a hammerhead karoo i've not used a brighton so i cannot uh, include those in my comparison i'm sure if you go to somebody like dc rainmaker who seems to know what he's talking about he will do a decent comparison for you so do i like them yes i like them very much i think they work well i think they provide a a very good and clear uh, bread come tr breadcrumb trail when you're following a preloaded route it will give you uh, directions it will tell you where to go uh, it's quite easy to follow you can get various lights and beeps and so forth on the screen which are which are kind of useful although it's probably best to turn those off to save the battery life a couple of things that um I'm not particularly happy about and that happens on both of them first one is is a kind of uh, it's a kind of moan on my part, although it's not really a complaint, and that is there is a rerouting function. So if you're following a preset route and you go off course, it will reroute you, and you're, you're, you're going to say, well, that sounds pretty good. And yes, it is pretty good, but it happens almost instantaneously. And it doesn't say, uh, oh, you missed a turning on the left, go back and turn left. Uh, what it will do is reroute you on the next proper route. In other words, it won't say just do a U-turn. Uh, and that might mean going a mile or two down the road until you come to a roundabout, and then it will say turn around and come back, and, and so on and so forth. Now, this turned out to be an issue for me at one point on the jog uh, near Warrington, as it happened. It was a big roundabout with a number of exits, and I couldn't quite determine which exit I was supposed to take. Not the problem, not a problem with the uh, Wahoo, just a problem with me. I wasn't processing data quite as quickly as I could have done. Uh, anyway, I took a wrong turning off the roundabout. Instead of saying, oh, you're taking a wrong turning, uh, it then sent me down or wanted to send me down the road to a next roundabout to turn around and come back again, which I didn't really want to do. I just wanted to find the correct exit. So that was a minor irritation, although largely caused by my own uh, ignorance and, and stupidity and, and slow wittedness and so on and so forth. The second issue is that occasionally, uh, or rather, you, you set it up and uh, you, you link it to Wi-Fi, and when you get to the end of your ride or you'll finish your ride or whatever it is, it uploads automatically. And most of the time it does that, but sometimes uh, it doesn't. Now, I think it may have something to do with the fact that I have two Wahoos uh, linked to my phone, not at the same time, obviously, and that seems to cause a slight issue because sometimes I have to do it manually. So I have to open the Element app on my phone. I need to uh, uh, sync it. I need to find the ride. I need to upload it, and so on and so forth, which is all doable. But it's just a little bit of a slight uh, faffy annoyment, annoyance. 
uh, if you uh, don't mind me saying so. Apart from that, uh, I'm very pleased with both of these Wahoos, apart from my issue with the uh, size of the data screens, which is an issue with my eyesight. Uh, both of them have colour screens, which, you know, adds an, an the odd bit of colour to certain bits of the screen. It, it doesn't provide a massive benefit, but it's quite nice uh, to see. It looks quite pretty sometimes. If you're going past some water, there's a little blue line. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, so there, there are colours on the screen, which are quite nice. Um, when you get the box, very nice packaging, by the way, uh, you get a couple of mounts. You get one of those proper proper kind of plastic out front mounts and then you get a couple of mounts which you can mount using uh, zip ties or, or something like that and of course you can buy aftermarket mounts uh, k k k edge uh, do some nice mounts in cnc aluminium although they are quite expensive so i would say by the way and you will find this if you read my book so i don't want to give too much away um, that if you are planning to do something like the jog, I would strongly, strongly recommend that you use some bike computer, I'm not telling you which brand to use, uh, rather than using your phone. Because yes, you can use your phone, but it will drain the battery quite quickly. And if you should go over a bump and your uh, phone flies off its mount and then breaks, then you are without your phone. Whereas if you're using a bike computer and that should fly off the mount, it's unlikely to happen, but you know, it could happen. Um, and you damage your uh, bike computer, then okay, you've damaged that, but you've still got the phone. And in most cases, uh, your phone is probably worth quite a lot more money than your bike computer. Not necessarily. I think, by the way, that the Wahoo Bolt 2 was 249 quid, and I think the Rome is 279 quid, but I'll check that on chain reaction or wiggle or whatever it is and i'll leave the current uh, actual price or i'll put the current actual price down below on the screen so you know so there you are the wahoo element bolt and the wahoo element roam both very good cycling computers both highly recommended with the couple of caveats that i mentioned so Thanks for watching. Uh, once you've finished watching this video, of course, you'll want to go on Amazon and order Old Friends to the End, my book about my Le Jog ride. Uh, in the meantime, if you like my videos, please remember that they raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in uh, Croydon in the United Kingdom. If you uh, like my videos, please like them, please share them, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you know when I may uh, upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.